Gemini, and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot for your messages from your spirit guides. This is a timeless reading, so when this comes across your feed, is the time that your spirit guides think you need to see this message. So I thank you so much for stopping by. I feel so blessed that you have chosen Spiritual Wellness Tarot as your, a part of your spiritual journey. So thank you so very much. We're going to go ahead and start off with some uh, Oracle cards. And then we will get to the Tarot cards. And then remember to stay till the end because we'll be picking three cards for your three yes or no questions. So start thinking about those questions that you'll be asking at the end of the reading. Now, for those of you who are new here, my name is Julie, and I am a psychic medium here on YouTube, and I use my psychic gifts to go ahead and help encourage those who may be feeling a little lost or just want some insight with their future. All right, let's see what else we have here. Now, also remember to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign so you can go ahead and get that overall energy. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have here. What messages do the spirit guides want you to know today? All right, so our first message is, I am special. And yes, Gemini, dang it, you are special, right? Sometimes we can feel like, what the hell? What, why? What's even the point of me doing this, right? I just don't understand. But you know what? There is a reason. If you've been given a task, there's a reason, right? So you just need to kind of look and see, look further than the actual task and see maybe what are you learning from this task? What do you need to do? But there is a reason. You you do have a purpose for being here, right? We've got ambush, ambush fear with your ferocious dreams. I love it. And then overthinking can spoil the magic. Let it flow, right? Let things go. Let them flow. You've got use your discernment, see the truth, be guided, trust your inner knowing, trust your gut. Gemini, trust your gut. All right. And then we have sacred space. Raise the vibe of your space. Harmonize within and around. Love this, right? What this is telling us is you need to be able to have a little bit of time to yourself. I know if you have kids, if you have animals, it's really hard. I have four kids, right? I got seven grandkids. I have animals, right? It's time for those, those kids, those parents, those um, spouses, those animals to give you a little bit of time, right? Maybe go just sit outside if you can for five minutes by yourself and just ask the spirit guides, what is it that I need to see, right? Why am I overthinking this particular issue, right? Time for you to go ahead and move forward. Now, this is actually, this card here is the crown chakra. So all about connections, all about sources, right? So let's see what else the tarot card is going to bring in here. I think it's interesting how, you know, we talked about going out and, and doing things and getting, getting by yourself. This gal here, she's getting ready to walk into the forest. She's ready to go ahead and just do some manifesting by herself, right? Because we, you know what, I don't know if all of us do, but a lot of us overthink things. And sometimes we overthink it that we just don't even enjoy it anymore, right? It's like it becomes such a such a chore to, to think about what is going on instead of just really enjoying it, right? All right, let's see. Now, our dreams, we really want to go ahead and enjoy, right? Because our dreams are what makes us special. We can always dream, right? And what we dream and what we put out to the universe is what's going to come to us. So if we're going to put out a bunch of negative poo-poo, then we're going to get negative poo-poo back, right? But if we put out a bunch of strong, healthy, I am good, I am special, we are going to get that feeling back right? The people around us are going to know that we are special. They're going to know that you are one strong force to be with. All right. So we have here, we've got the eight of cups. Eight of cups is, you know, feeling a little bit lost. They have so many decisions to make, right? Because a seven of cups is about too many decisions, right? Well, this eight of cups is just like throwing his arms up in the air, right? All his little octopus arms up and being lost, right? thinking, what is the point of it all, right? Interesting, right? What is the point of all of these cups if I'm not happy, if I'm confused, right? We've got the tower here, all about making room for new, 
releasing what is not serving you. So it's time, Gemini, for you to release what is not serving you and time to start something new, right? You've got the Ace of Swords. Time for something new. Time to get some mental clarity, right? Time to get, you know, to be ready to move forward. Then we've got the High Priestess. Now, she's very mysterious, right? She trusts her intuition, right? Trust your inner knowing. Trust yourself. Raise the vibration of your space. It's time for you to know that you have a purpose, Gemini. You have a purpose for being here. Then, of course, you got that Ten of Pentacles. Love him, right? Just love this little raccoon. All about leaving a legacy. All about wealth. All about stability. Time for you to go ahead and enjoy that, right? Just let go. Realize that your dreams can come true, right? Your dreams definitely can come true. Stop overthinking things, right? Time to move forward. Time to get rid of this, whatever's working with the tower, right? And be done. All right, let's see what we have here for clarifiers. All right, so first of all, I'm right off the bat. I'm seeing we've got two pages right next to each other. Now, the pages are about thinking about new ideas, right? Time for new ideas um, to come into your head so you can feel that you are worth something, right? That you are special. So with the, with the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles is all about that innovative ideas, right? But realizes that, that they need to wait, right? They need to have some patience for that to go ahead and come through to, to, to go to fruition, right? To come to for your seeds once you've planted your seeds for the for it to grow, right? So it's time for you to realize that patience is a good thing, right? Patience is a good thing. Now this could be something as far as um, you know, if this is work related, you might be getting ready to get a raise. You might be getting ready to um, to maybe you'll get a new a managerial position, right? T something is going to move forward to you, so you are going to go ahead and become this happy this happy little raccoon with his ten of pentacles, right? The page of swords now, the page of swords is that curious child, right? He likes to read things. He likes to know things. He's kind of gossipy, right? He wants to move forward. So he's going to go, you know, the gossip that he's doing is going to go down with this tower, right? Because it's not going to serve him. When we gossip, that doesn't serve us, does it? It doesn't serve us at all. Um, it might make us feel better. Oh, Susie... Did you see Susie? She uh, she did this, she did that. But you know what? That's negative. That's nasty. We don't want to do that, right? We don't want to. We don't want to wish ill on anybody. We've got the Four of Wands, which the Four of Wands is that fun, happy, homecoming person. I love it, right? And it could be with this Ace of Swords on, that it's on top of. It could be that you do have this new idea coming in, right? And it's going to turn out to be beautiful, right? It's going to turn out to be a very profitable. Um, adventure that you have then we've got the five of pentacles kind of feeling a little down right feeling maybe maybe you're having a little financial loss maybe you're having a little bit of poor health or something but you know what it's all going to turn out to the best right we've got this four of wands and then we've got the six of wands right that is that is um kind of the bookends of this five of pentacles the Six of Wands is about victory. It's about good news. It's about success. It's about leadership. You are special. You are so special, Gemini. I want you to give yourself a big hug and know that things are getting better, right? Let go. Let this, let this tower do its thing and remove the negative stuff that's in your life so you have the, all this positive joy and happiness coming forward. I love it. This is beautiful, Gemini. Just beautiful. Now, Gemini, let's go ahead and ask your three questions. What are your three questions? The first question for Gemini. All right, Spirit Guides. What is the first answer to our Gemini's yes or no question? What is the first answer? We've got ask help from others. Interesting. Okay, so definitely, you know, and, and it doesn't have to be a physical person, right? Ask your guides. Ask your angels. You know, what is it I need to do? Show me what I need to do within the next few weeks. So something is going to go ahead and happen within the next few weeks. Now, it could be with this tower. 
a card that may have already happened right and it's time for you within the next few weeks to come up with something new to have this celebration right to feel good all right last card last answer yes or no unlikely all right all right, Gemini, I hope this did resonate with you. Take what did resonate with you and leave what did not behind. And remember to scratch, to scratch, <laughs> to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you do get notified next time I have another reading. And until next time, Gemini, I love you all. Namaste.